Mama, I know I've asked you this before. And I'm sorry to ask you again, but if there's anything at all about Papa's disappearance, no matter how small, that you haven't told me yet. Luis, what is it? Why have you been asking me so many questions recently about your father? Well, you know, I've always felt that Papa abandoned us. I don't believe that. I don't believe he's dead either. Well, something happened, and I want to know what. I asked Sam to look into it. But the police already did a thorough investigation. Yeah, well, that was years ago. There's more advanced technology now, things that can help us find out the truth about what happened to Papa. Now, Sam promised me that he'd use all the department's resources. He put out an APB. We should find out something soon. Oh, Luis. What is it, Mama? You're not afraid of what we'll find, are you? I just don't get why you'd be upset with me for wanting to know the truth, Mama. I am not upset, Grace. And I'm not afraid of what you'll find. I want the police to investigate. Believe me, I want to know the truth as much as you do. I know that there's a reason why Martin didn't come home that night. Well, at first he thought he was just working late? Yeah, but Jess was so unlike him not to call me. He let me know if he'd be home late. He was a considerate man. He was a good father and a good husband. When did you start to worry? By midnight, I just felt something was wrong. And you told me you tried to call him at work. But he wasn't there. I stayed up the whole night, and in the morning, I called the police. They investigated, but they came up with nothing. No trace of Martin Fitzgerald. People don't just vanish into thin air. I know. Sometimes I wonder if maybe he struck his head and, or had an accident and doesn't remember who he is. Maybe he's out there, somewhere, a lost soul, wandering around. Oh. And Papa had a wallet? ID? I mean, even if it was lost or stolen, by this time someone would have figured out who he was or, or where he came from. Now, there's an answer. And whatever that answer is, I'll bet that the Cranes figure in on it. Louise, the police never found any evidence that the Cranes were involved with Martin's disappearance. Well, maybe not yet, but we will. And then I'm gonna nail him. Oh, I just wish you would just put aside this hatred that you have for the Cranes. Maybe not till I find out once and for all what happened. <sighs> Look, I, I want to uh, see if Sam dug up anything. I'm gonna get to the station, okay? I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Crane, but there's something very important I need to talk to you about. Yes? It's about Sheridan. Go on. I hope you don't feel that I'm overstepping my boundaries, but I feel very close to Sheridan. Oh, I know. Almost as if she were my own daughter. <sighs> Just tell me what you want to say, Come on. It's about that night. It's been on Sheridan's mind, consuming her in a way. She's increasingly upset. What do you know about that night, Pilar? Oh, very little. As you know, I wasn't there. All I know is what I was told the next day, that she had had a horrible nightmare. And the same day, Mr. Allison sent her to France. Well, what choice did he have? You know, she needed professional help. She was hysterical. She wouldn't calm down. You know how emotional she was, even as a child. But yes, it was just a nightmare. Oh, I don't doubt that it was a nightmare, Mr. Crane. I know Sheridan is totally incapable of killing someone. Oh, of course she couldn't. It was all in her head. And I don't doubt you, Mr. Crane. But Sheridan is desperate for the truth. I've told her the truth. The whole thing never happened. Please, if there's anything that Sheridan needs to know about that night, you must tell her. Whatever it is, she has a right to know. It's something that she needs to deal with. I thought you said you didn't doubt me, Pilar. Oh, it doesn't matter what I believe. All that matters is what Sheridan believes. What you tell her could have a lot to do with her future. Please, don't keep the truth from her simply to avoid scandal. Oh, I must say, Pilar, I, I really don't like what you're insinuating. I'm only thinking about Sheridan. Please, a lie could wreck her entire life it's already caused her enough pain.
Yes. Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate your call. I know that maybe I was... Cut this short. Something very pressing has come up that I must attend to immediately. Damn, damn, forget to... Damn. What's wrong, Mama? Oh, please. Did someone die? <laughs> Your father, he's gone. What? He didn't come home. Where did he go? I don't know. When is he coming back? I don't know. He may never come back. Don't cry, Mama. I'll take care of you. I'll protect you. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? I'll take care of you and the family now. I'll take care of all of us. <laughs>